Do you regret taking this lie detector test? Yes. I'm surprised that you actually signed up to this. I just it's, said it's, no. <laughs> I said no. Fail. Cool. Maybe I subconsciously <laughs> underestimated. After your loss to Alicia Baumgartner, did you ever question your own ability? This is the moment of truth. I am just about to interview Michaela Meyer about whether you tell lies or the truth. Are you prepared for this, by the way? It's just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> First of all, I'm surprised that you actually signed up to this. I just it's, said it's, no, <laughs> I said no. This is all a little bit weird. Okay, Michaela, are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. All right, let's start off with some questions. Let's start off with some easy questions. Is your name Michaela Mayer? Yes. Are you 33 years of age? No. Yes. <laughs> Are you nervous about taking this lie detector test? Yes. It is a little bit weird, to be fair. Have you ever lied to get out of training? Yes. Truthful. Have you ever second-guessed your decision to turn pro? No. Truthful. Do you believe you're an overall better fighter than the Jonas? Yes. Truthful. Have you ever underestimated an opponent? No. Fail. Cool. Maybe I subconsciously <laughs> underestimated an opponent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you think Natasha Jonas is underestimating you? No. Truthful. Do you believe you'll beat Natasha? I do. Yes. Truthful. Do you respect Natasha? Yes. Do you think you can knock her out? Yes. What else? Okay. Do I elaborate on that? Um, I was thinking that I don't necessarily think it's going to end in stoppage. I think that it's going to probably go the distance just because of our, both of our experience and the pedigree that we have and the skill that we have and just, we've been here before. So I do think it'll go the distance, but I do always believe that a knockout is one punch away. Have you ever Googled yourself? Yes. Triple. After your loss to Alicia Baumgartner, did you ever question your own ability? No. Does the idea of losing scare you? No. Babe. Not anymore. I feel like, I feel like we're all scared to lose, but I feel like now I have a, I know that I've put my, I've gotten my career to a point where one loss can't take anything away from sure. me. There is fear there, but it's also like a fear that I'm not, I'm not afraid to face. It's like, I don't, I, I'd, I'd rather try. Mm. Like I'm, I'm not so afraid that I'm not willing to try. Mm. Yeah. And after ex experiencing my loss and overcoming it and getting back into this position, like, I don't fear it so much that it, it, it puts me into my shell. Do you think you're at the stage of your career, by the way, where you feel that you want to test yourself more as a fighter, like, like stepping out of your comfort zone, like going from super featherweight up to world weight? I mean, that's a big jump up, but that's also putting a lot of, lot of pressure on yourself. Do you feel that's where you're at right now? Um. That's what I've always wanted. You know, I've always wanted to, to, 
test myself against the best. And but in order to get those big fights and, and test yourself against the top girls, like you have to have leverage. And that's what this fight is for me. It's getting myself back in position. Um, and not that, I mean, Tasha is the fight that I, I want. She's the type of fighter that I want to fight, but I also want to continue sure. to, to check those names off my hit list. And so um, that starts with, with getting through Natasha and taking that belt so that I continue to do that against other top girls. Why do you like fighting in Britain so much, by the way? Because like I say, your last three fighters have been here. It's become an adopting home for you, but do you actually enjoy coming over here to fight or is it just on the business side of things that you're here? Uh, both. You know, um, this is where the opportunities are for me right now. And I'm glad I fought here the last three fights because if you look into my future, my future potential opponents, they're all from here. So um, I feel like I'm slowly building my fan base on the right side of the pond right now, looking into my future. Brilliant. All right, let's get back to it. Do you think or ever worry about being stopped in a fight? No. No, that is not true. <laughs> Listen, I'm just asking the questions. Don't I shoot never the think about. <laughs> I never think about that in training camp, going into yeah. fighting, getting stopped. I literally never think about that. Sometimes part of visualization is you visualize the worst thing that happens to you, and then you visualize overcoming you that. You know, getting knocked down and coming back up. But I, I can honestly say I don't really don't visualize that yeah. that part of it all that often. Like I sure. never think, oh no, I'm going to get stopped. Like I, it's more so like getting uh you think like losing on points or getting yeah. out work like yeah. in that sense but losing like, as opposed to getting stopped losing as opposed to getting yeah. stopped like i never i really don't ever think about getting stopped because i've never been in a position where i've been hurt in a fight understood all right will you retire if you lose this fight no True. do you think you can beat natasha Sorry. jonas in an arm wrestle not my expertise. Yes. Winner's mentality. There you go. Okay, last question. Do you regret taking this lie to text test? Yes. <laughs> You've been fantastic, by the way. <laughs> You've been really good, really good. And listen, Michaela, I mean, I've got to respect you for taking, you know, taking this lie to text test. The moment of truth, you've got to respect Michaela for doing that, going into that. What a sportsman. And yeah, looking forward to your fight on the 20th of, of January. I'm just glad you guys did this like seven weeks out from the fight. Well, that uh, stress, you just put my body under. Yeah, well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that stress factor's not really been there right now. But I mean, what yeah. a sport though, doing that in the it's first place. Fun. When I heard we was doing this, by the way, I made me nervous even like asking the question. So respect you for doing it, especially, you know, going into the, a fight of this sort of magnitude. So well done for that.